Hello, welcome to episode two of Let's Play Civilization VI. My name is Dublo Slippin, and let's get started. Looks like Norway is converting my city to their religion, so I'm going to send down a missionary, and when I get enough faith, I'm going to come into my capital, and I'm going to purchase an apostle. And what that'll do is I'll get, I'll uh, have the ability to launch an inquisition. And that will give me a little bit of extra era score and get me closer to getting that normal age. I'm going to take a shot with the archer. All right, we just finished the shrine in the city of Philadelphia. I, th I think I want to build a campus. And I'm thinking I want to put the campus right here. This is a plus four campus because of the uh, geothermal fissure and the four... Um, rainforest so and I don't have enough cash so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in I'm going to ask Mari uh, if they want a friendship and he'll take that friendship and then I'm going to see if he wants to buy my horses and it looks like he'll give me all his gold and uh, four gold per turn so I'm going to take that deal so now that we have the gold we're going to buy this tile here I'm going to place a campus there and I'm going to send Hercules over there to instantly build it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to queue up something else. I'm going to queue up a temple. And the reason why we want to build this temple is because then we could build the Mahabadi temple right here. And for those who don't know, uh, the Mahabadi temple when built gives you plus two diplomatic victory points and grants you two apostles when built, which will help us evangelize our religion. Take another shot with the archer. Take another shot with the archer. All right, we are instantly going to build the campus. That gives us plus three error score right on. And we just got the Eureka for mathematics. Okay, we just finished shipbuilding. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to beeline machinery. Uh, that way we can get the Kilwa and get our crossbowmen to defend ourselves in case anybody decides to be aggressive. And we just converted the city of New Orleans back to our religion. I got a feeling we're going to have issues uh, because uh, we do have Norway and Ethiopia uh, pushing their religious on us, religion on us. So we are going to get an inquisitor. And speaking of an inquisitor, I think I'm going to get an apostle so that we can launch an inquisition uh, as soon as we can. That'll give us a couple, couple more era score and that'll get us out of this uh, dark age. All right, we just finished building a settler in the capital. I think we're going to go and swing in and grab ancient walls. Uh, that'll give us the boost for engineering. And we just finished the commercial hub in the city of New Orleans. So I think we're going to immediately go for the market. What I'm going to do is I'm going to not take a shot on this skirmisher. And I'm going to hope that Sung Wukong takes that shot. And then next turn, I'll be able to swoop in and grab the uh, barb camp with my archer. Okay, we got our apostle, so we're going to launch an inquisition. That'll give us two era score. Perfect. And we got our settler. I'm going to send them to settle on the cotton tile. Uh, the reason why I'm picking the cotton tile is because of these floodplains. I do not want to have to um, rebuild every time we get a flood. Um, as well, it's going to leave me a little bit of room to put a city right here. It's not going to be the best city. It's going to be constantly pillaged by this volcano. But uh, a city is a city, and it'll give us some uh, science and culture and gold and stuff. Looks like the skirmisher did move into the barbs camp, so I just killed him. All right, I'm going to grab myself a builder in the capital, and I'm going to use him to clear out this rainforest here. And when I have seven pop and I have room to put a campus, I'm going to put a campus right here. All right, we just got ourselves the wheel. Perfect. And it looks like we had the opportunity to get that barb camp. That is perfect. That just gave us plus three error score. That got us out a, a normal age. It would be nice to get a golden age, but we only have two more turns on this era. So it's very, very doubtful. All right, I'm going to use this builder to chop. That'll give me the ancient walls, which gives me the Eureka for engineering. And I am going to place a campus here. And I'm going to instantly build it with Hercules. And that is a plus five campus, so that's really nice. And I think we're going to go right into a library for the plus three science and the plus one great scientist points. Okay, we have our trader in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, I think I'm going to send a trade route to Geneva. 
and that will give us Mulan. Not only new Mulan, but it just gave us four envoys, which is really nice. I'm going to put one more envoy in there, and that'll give me suzerain of them. And uh, that gives me plus 15% on science whenever you are not at war with another civilization. So that is really, really nice. So we basically just got six envoys by sending a trade route and one envoy. So pretty good deal. All right, I think I'm going to send Hercules to the city of New Orleans. I want to get a holy site up in this area right here. And I'm going to send this builder to these woods to clear them up and chop out this library. Perfect. Um, we do have a few more turns until we get machinery. Uh, it looks like we have four more turns. So I think I'm going to get myself another builder. And we're going to use that builder to chop out the uh, Mahabadi temple and eventually the Kilwa as well. All right, we have just entered the medieval era. One man's and we got engineering, perfect, and defensive tactics. Really nice. Uh, we are now looking at feudalism, which will give us the serfdom card, which is really important. And we're going to get ironworking. Unfortunately, we could not get an iron mine to boost it, so it is what it is. Uh, we do have another governor title. And I'm going to hold off on promoting the Owls of Minerva because I don't actually have the technology for banking. So I'm going to promote Pingala and get Connoisseur for the extra culture. And as far as our uh, dedication for our um, normal age, I think I'm going to grab Exodus of the Evangelist because I do plan on spreading my religion to my own cities. And I'm going to send this builder up to Philadelphia to get him ready to chop out some woods for the Mahabadi Temple. And speaking of chops, I am going to switch Magnus into the city of Philadelphia. And I'm going to switch Pingala to the city of Washington. All right, we got our settler in place. Uh, we just settled the city of Cincinnati. And we don't have any production in this city, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna buy this tile here so it works this tile and I'm gonna instantly start working a granary and after I get machinery we're gonna go for celestial navigation so I can get the harbors and I want to place a harbor right there and I'm gonna take this builder and I'm gonna send him over to Philadelphia to uh, help with the chops for the uh, Mahabadi temple okay looks like we got our very first uh, World Congress so I'm gonna vote for myself obviously for the trade routes and as far as city-states go, I'm going to vote for a science city-state because I am trading with Geneva right now. And it looks like we won the scientific city-state, but we lost the uh, trade route, unfortunately. The Lord made us all, all right, we got iron working. And it looks like we finished the builder in the capital. Uh, I'm tempted to just put a couple of turns in another builder. It looks like we have four turns left. <clears throat> so what I might do is I might just leave it. And uh, we will get another builder in here. And we'll use these builders to get as many chops as possible. And we got Hercules in place. So I think I'm going to come in the city of New Orleans. And I'm going to buy this tile. And I'm going to place a holy site right there. That's a plus four holy site. Beautiful. And I'm going to instantly build it with Hercules. And that will be a plus eight production holy site because we have the scripture card plugged in and we have work ethic in. And we're going to continue to build the market. And I'm going to come in the city of Washington and buy an Inquisitor so that I can uh, turn New Orleans into our uh, religion. So I can uh, convert uh, New Orleans into our religion. Looks like there are some barb camps on the West Peninsula, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Okay, looks like my scout just took a really big hit from this swordsman. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him down. I'm going to take a promotion in hopes that he heals. And hopefully I can run away through these woods. Uh, I'm... Pretty sure there's more barbs down here, so it might be a bad move, but we'll see. Uh, looks like we just finished the temple in the city of Philadelphia, so we are going to start the Mahabadi temple, and we're going to put it right there. And next turn, when Magnus is established, we're going to start chopping out these woods, and we're going to transfer um, Hercules over to the city of Cincinnati to help with these barbs. 
All right, looks like our um, scout survived. So I'm just going to keep trying to run this. Way. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. He's dead. Okay, Magnus is established. So I'm going to chop out these woods. That just took out five turns out of the Mahabadi Temple. Perfect. I'm going to chop out this rainforest. That just did another six turns. Beautiful. And I got this uh, builder up here on the way to chop out these woods here. So, and our scout died. And we finally got machinery. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to come to the capital. Looks like we just finished the builder as well, which is perfect. And I'm going to buy a tile. And I'm not sure which one I want to get. I want to get this one right here. And I'm going to place the Kilwa. And these builders are going to help chop out the Kilwa. But I'm going to wait until I get Magnus in the city. So for now, I'm going to focus on chopping out the Mahabadi Temple. And it would be nice to get a cheap civic. Three turns. Uh, we have four turns until we get feudalism. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, I would have liked to plug in core B. And I still will uh, when I get the chance. Uh, as far as technologies go, I want to get celestial navigation to get my harbors. And with these builders, I'm going to keep chopping out rainforest as much as I can. And I'm going to chop out these woods, and that will take off four turns off the temple. All right, our Inquisitor has made it to New Orleans. So we are going to convert the city to our religion, and that's perfect. Uh, that will give us, I think, plus eight production in our holy site. Perfect. And, all I ask and we got Celestial Navigation, uh, so which means we want to get mathematics and horseback riding, and eventually we want to get education and military engineering. All right, we found the capital city of Ethiopia. We're just going to take this scout here, and we're going to explore their uh, empire and make sure we expose all their cities. Okay, we're going to chop out this rainforest here. That just knocked off five turns. We're going to chop out this rainforest as well. And we have three more turns until the Mahabadi Temple is done. Uh, I think I'm going to switch Magnus now to the capital because uh, we can hard build three turns, no problem. And I'll put Pingala back in the city of Philadelphia. All right, it looks like Hercules is faced with a warrior and he killed him. And there's a couple of more swordsmen. So we'll take them all out and hopefully we'll find the barb camp and we'll put an end to this problem. All right, our missionary just reached Cincinnati. So we're going to convert the city to our religion. Very nice. And looks like most of our cities are converted, except we got to get a inquisitor up to the city of Chicago. So I'm just going to buy one in the capital and send them up there and, uh, Convert that city. All right, looks like we got feudalism. Perfect. So what we're going to want to do, and we got mathematics. Beautiful. Um, we're going to want to change our policy cards. And what I'm thinking is we're not building settlers. We are building uh, wonders right now. It would be nice to have serfdom in. And that should be all right for now. Uh, I can't really see any sort of military cards that I want. So what I might do is I might change my government <clears throat> to classical Republic and plug in the core V card again and plug in the serfdom card and put it in conscription and leave charismatic leader for the influence points. Or perhaps I'll get the autocratic legacy. Yeah, I'm going to go with this government right here. This works for me. Perfect. And we finished the market in New Orleans. So I think I'm going to grab a trader first thing. And it looks like I'm having a little bit of a housing issue. So I'm going to grab a granary next. And I'm just going to queue up a couple things uh, that I think we'll need. And we'll just let this city do its thing and grow. Uh, for a little bit and we finished the granary in the city of Chicago would be nice to get a builder uh, This city is struggling for production right now uh, What I might do is get the aqueduct built in here. Uh, it's one turn away from growing so I'm thinking a builder well, it's gonna have a housing issue in one turn So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a aqueduct right here so it doesn't get pillaged by the volcano Dusty, All right, we just finished the Mahabadi Temple. 
And we just got the Eureka for Buttress. Perfect. And we just got horseback riding all in one turn. Uh, wonderful. So we have the um, apostles from building the temple. So we're going to evangelize our belief for our religion. And first thing I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab the pagoda because it gives me plus one diplomatic favor per turn. And we're going for a diplomatic victory. And I'm going to get the, I'm going to evangelize another belief. And I think I'm going to grab tithe for the gold. Um, that'll give us a little bit more gold and that'll help our gold income. Our gold just jumped up 12 gold per turn. So that's perfect. And as far as stuff, we are really struggling for housing. So I'm definitely going to grab a granary next and maybe even a aqueduct. There you go. Um, this would be a good spot for a theater square. So what I might do is do a little bit of planning. An aqueduct here. A theater square right here. And an industrial zone here. And that will at least give me... This will cover... The industrial zone will cover... Uh, will power Washington, Philadelphia, and... New Orleans, and it won't power Cincinnati. So I'll need another industrial zone somewhere around here. Yeah, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that aqueduct down, uh, lock in its price, and I'm actually just going to hard build it right now so I can fix this housing issue. Uh, as far as techs go, I want to get stirrups and I want to get education. Uh, I would like to get a couple more mines online so I can boost apprenticeship. And uh, I would like education as well. So I'm going to place a mine down in our capital. Looks like we just got kicked out of Ethiopia's territory. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that we have open borders with everybody. Ethiopia will give me six gold per turn for open borders. So I'll take that. And Norway will give me 36 gold for open border. And Maori will give me two gold per turn for open borders. All right, I'm going to see if I can convert... Kumasi, keep on slipping. Not quite. And we're we going to convert Chicago on slipping. to keep on slipping. Perfect. And we got recorded history. Okay, that's really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in natural philosophy. And that will give me 100% bonus on our campuses. And our science is 52 per turn. And now it is 60. Okay, it looks like Magnus is established in the capital. So I'm going to chop this rainforest. And I'm going to chop this rainforest. And I think we just took off about nine turns. There is no easy all right, we got apprenticeship. Beautiful. And like I said, that gives us plus one production to all mine improvement. And we are going to go for, I think, education. It would be nice to earn a great scientist to boost education. So I'm going to look and see what we got. And we don't quite have enough faith to buy this guy. This guy isn't the greatest. Uh, great scientist, but I mean, I'll take what we can get. And it looks like we're going to get a great merchant pretty soon. And that's about it. I'd like to buy this tile right here. And I think I will. Uh, next turn, we're going to chop out those woods. And it, we should see a considerable amount of this kill wad done. All right, I'm going to chop these woods. And that just knocked off three turns off the kill wad. Not as much as I thought, but uh, still a good amount. All right, looks like we got the Eureka for military engineering and uh, construction. So I think I'm going to build the Great Wall in the city of Philadelphia, perhaps, because it looks like these guys are sending up units. Maybe they're just trying to take out Me Mexico City. So what I might do is I'll queue up the granary because we're having a little bit of a housing issue. And then I'll queue up the ancient walls uh, just in hopes to defer the... Um, Ethiopians from attacking me and it looks like our friendship ran out so I'm going to declare friendship with Norway perfect I'm going to send him a delegation as well the purpose of education all right looks like we got education without getting in great scientists okay next on the tech tree I think we're going to grab uh, military engineering and then stirrups and then work our way to mass production and we just finished the granary in the city of Cincinnati. I'd like to place the uh, harbor and maybe work on the monument. And we just got uh, Hercules healed up. He's only got two 
uh, more turns of lifespan. So we might as well make good use of them. Hopefully clear out a cup, uh, another barb if we can. And uh, we'll revive them uh, right away to get this harbor online in Cincinnati. The taxpayer. And we got civil service. Perfect. And it really looks like uh, Ethiopia is sending a couple of crossbowmen to attack me. So what I might do is I might switch right to ancient walls right away. And I might actually even buy a builder so that I can chop those out and get those online as soon as I can. And I'm going to put this uh, archer inside the city to protect it. And we just lost Hercules and we just got construction. Wonderful. Um, and we got a great relic. So we're going to come in the city of Philadelphia and buy... Hercules as soon as we can. Uh, there's too many units inside. That's what it says. Okay, so we're going to step this archer out. Then we are going to buy Hercules. Beautiful. We got two extra air score for that. And we're going to use him right away to start building infrastructure. So I'm going to send him to Cincinnati to get this harbor online so we can get some more trade routes. And speaking of trade routes, it looks like I have an extra one somewhere. I guess I just never built one uh, when I built the market. So what I might do is I might grab that right now before I grab the shrine uh, because these 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 are really really um, these pay themselves off uh, the sooner you get them okay we got our builder in Philadelphia so I'm gonna send them to this rainforest here and chop it out looks like I found more barbs on this little island to the east uh, hopefully my scout survives okay we're gonna instantly build the harbor in Cincinnati Beautiful, and we don't quite have enough gold to get the lighthouse, so uh, we're just going to save up for a few more turns. And we just lost our scout, unfortunately. Uh, looks like our friendship ran out, so I'm going to declare friendship with Mari once again. And we're buddies now, so that's perfect. And I'm going to chop out this rain for us one more turn until we get the ancient walls so we can defend against these crossbowmen. I get a bad feeling about them. Uh, if he does declare war on us, we will just get Himiko from Washington and levy uh, Mexico City's army to defend us. Uh, two more turns until we're done the kill up. Uh, looks like we can build another district in the city of New Orleans. And I'm tempted to buy this tile right here and place it right there and lock that price in. And I'll send Hercules over there to finish that off. All right, we finished the walls in the city of Philadelphia, so we are protected. That is great. Uh, I think I'm going to send this builder here to get some more mines online in the city of Washington because the tiles are pretty hurting over here. And we got Hercules in the city of New Orleans, so I'm going to send him up and hopefully get this campus online as soon as this guy gets off the fucking tile. And we just finished Kilwa. Wonderful. Uh, this is a really, 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 really good wonder uh, for those who don't know. When you build the Kilwa, you get plus three envoys when built. And when you are suzerain of a city-state, this city, state, this city get, receives 15% boost of the type of bonuses provided by that city-state. So if you're suzerain of two or more city-states with the same type of um, yield to it, it will give you a plus 15 boost to all your cities. So that is really, really good because that means I get plus 15% science, culture, and production. And if I take Suzerain of Zanzibar, that will give me plus 15% gold in the city of Washington. And then if I take Suzerain of Antananarivo, uh, I will get a plus 15 boost of culture all over my empire. So I just finished the Kilwa. I want to get a university in here as soon as I can, or the great library would be Awesome. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it on time, but it would be cool. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try and get it uh, because it would be a really cool wonder to get. The aqueduct is done in the city of Chicago. I think it's a good idea to get some more commercial hubs or some more campuses. There is a plus five campus here, but it would get pillaged by this volcano constantly. And I don't want to spend the entire game fixing it. So what I might do is I might put a commercial hub somewhere. I might put a commercial hub here and then eventually put a dam here and then an industrial zone over here. And that would work out really well because it would power this city as well. Um, so what I might do is exactly that. 
yeah, I'm going to put one right here. Even well, this is a really good food top and it is helping the city grow quite a bit. So what I might do is I might wait and I'll put a turn in the walls and then I will buy this tile and put a commercial hub there. Uh, this guy is still not moving. He is kind of pissing me off. Okay, we're going to put a mine right there. Beautiful. Let me get this niter online. All right, we just finished the granary in the city of Philadelphia. So we want to get a library as soon as we can. I want to get my universities online um, as well. We got to start thinking of another district. I definitely need to get my Diplo quarter. Uh, this is a diplomatic game. It would be nice to put it in the city of Washington. But to me, it really doesn't matter. Um, there's so many things I want to get done. I want to put a theater square here. I want to put an industrial zone here. Uh, it would be ideal to get it in the city of Washington. Uh, I need to get an aqueduct in here. The housing issue is kind of an issue. So what I might do is I might take this builder up here and build a couple of farms and hopefully that'll give it enough housing to grow. Okay, we have our trader in the city of New Orleans. So I think I'm going to trade for gold and it looks like I get the best deal out of Geneva plus three science and plus four culture and plus eight gold. So I'm going to take that deal in the city of Chicago. I'm going to buy this tile here and I'm going to place a commercial hub. And next turn, I'm going to send uh, Hercules over here to insta build it. And I think I'm going to continue to build the ancient walls. And there's been a major flood and it looks like Ethiopia's guys got hurt. So hopefully he moves this fucking crossbowman off my campus so that I can build it. And we'll get this nighter online. Beautiful. That gives me the Eureka for rifling. And we'll get Hercules to instantly build this commercial hub. And it looks like we lost the Great Library, which is no big surprise. Uh, it was kind of a long shot to get it anyway. Um, I would like to put a aqueduct somewhere, and I think I'm going to put it right here. And uh, that will help with the housing issue, and then we'll be able to boost uh, the population in this city up to 10 pop and hopefully get a Diplo quarter in there as soon as possible. Uh, looks like we got a great merchant. We are going to recruit him. It looks like he gives us a trade route and plus two gold for any trade route to this city. Perfect. Uh, instead of hard building the campus, I think I'm going to go right for that trade route. And hopefully I can get Hercules in here to uh, instantly build it if this crossbowman will get out of the way. All right, looks like we have another World Congress. So I'm going to vote for myself for the culture bombs. And I'm really going to vote it up because I do not want to lose this one as well. I'm definitely going to vote for production in this one because the AI seems to vote for uh, production. And I'm really going to vote it up because I don't want to lose uh, any more World Congresses. I'm trying to get Diplo points so I can win a diplomatic victory. And it looks like we won both of them. So perfect. My religion has been pushed out of Philadelphia, so I'm going to send an inquisitor down there to fix this problem right away. And it looks like we do have an extra governor charge, so I'm going to put in uh, grants for Pingala for 100% towards great people points generated from the city. And our aqueduct is done in the city of Washington. Perfect. So I'm going to chop out this rainforest. And hopefully that boosts the population next turn. And... For now, I think I'm going to put a turn or two in the university. Yeah, it looks like our city got converted to Eastern Orthodoxy, so I'm going to convert it back to my religion. Perfect. All right, finally, our capital city has made it to 10 population. Um, we just discovered guilds, and we got the Eureka for banking. Okay, great. So I'm going to come into the city of Washington and get the Diplo quarter right away. And I think what I'm going to do is put it right here. And then I can put a commercial hub here and possibly a commercial hub from Cincinnati right there. And it'll be protected. And I think I'm just going to hard build it because four turns is really nothing. I just got another governor title and I think I'm going to put it into owls or maybe I'll hang on to it until I get the banking technology. Um, as far as our government goes, we no longer need core V. So I think I'm going to plug that out. I'm going to put natural philosophy up there and potentially grab colonization. I do need to build some settlers as quick as I can, actually. So 
what I might do is I might plug in colonization for now and I won't hard build the Diplo quarter. I'm going to just start building settlers and I'll send uh, Hercules to my capital to uh, insta build it so I can get it online quicker. And we finished building the monument in the city of Cincinnati. I would have liked to buy the lighthouse, but I haven't been able to. I might just hard build it. But 24 turns is a really long time. This city is struggling for production. So what I might need is a builder. I think I am going to buy a builder in this city. And uh, when I get the chance, I am going to buy the lighthouse. All right, we got military tactics. Beautiful. Uh, looks like we finished the trader in New Orleans. Uh, I guess I'm just going to hard build the campus uh, because this guy is not moving. So I won't be able to use Hercules on him. Or actually, I think I'm going to build an aqueduct so I can get the housing uh, issue dealt with in the city quicker. And then I'll queue up the campus and perhaps the temple after. All right, we got our trader in the city of New Orleans. I think Kumasi seems like the better deal. Uh, unless there's somebody asking for a trade route. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to trade with Kumasi. Perfect. And it looks to me like Mexico or no, Geneva wants a religious conversion for a envoy. So I might do that. All right, we just finished the library in Philadelphia. I'm going to start building the university as quick as I can. I would like to place down another district, though. And I'm thinking that district will be the industrial zone. Um, yeah, I'm just going to set it down. I'm going to delete this pen. And I think I want to start working on the university as quick as I can. It's either that or I start building the industrial zone. And that gives me a little more production to start building the university. Yeah, I might build the industrial zone first. I'm going to go with that. All right, we got Hercules in the capital. I'm going to put him right there. Next turn, we're going to instantly build the diplomatic quarter. Uh, I still have that governor title, but I don't have the banking technology yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we finished building the ancient walls in the city of Chicago. I want to grab the market as soon as I can and maybe place down another district. And what I'm thinking is, so we're building buttress. I guess we'll be able to put a dam right here, which means an industrial zone here would be really nice. It would cover the city of Cincinnati and it would cover a city. If I put a city right here or right here, uh, it would also power it. So what I might do is I might put down an industrial zone. Actually, this is a really nice industrial zone as well. Uh, which one would be better? I think this one would be better once there's a dam here. I think what I'll do is I'll place the industrial zone here just in case I don't get to the dam. Okay, we instantly build our Diplo quarter in the capital. Beautiful. And it gave us a little bit of a culture bomb, which is nice. Uh, I would like to buy the consulate at some point. That's 600 gold. I wonder if I can get a deal off somebody. All right, looks like uh, the Maori will give me 139 gold for 14 nighter and one horse. So I'm going to take that deal and that will put me to exactly 600 gold. So I'm going to come in the capital and buy the consulate building. Perfect. All right, we got divine right, which will give us the card Gothic architecture, which will have help us with our wonder building. Uh, I think what I want to do as far as civics go is we are going to get Theocracy next, which will be a nice card, especially for doing faith purchases. But I think I want to go up and get Merchant Mercenaries and then Merchant Republic. Um, it looks like Ethiopia's crossbowmen are kind of surrounding New Orleans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I think I'm going to grab the ancient walls before anything else. And that way we can uh, at least protect ourselves. And we just finished a settler in the city of Washington. So I think I'm going to come and settle a city right here. And I'm going to link him up with Hercules so that he's protected. And I think I'm going to grab another settler. All right, looks like we just finished military training. And we have plus four envoys. So I'm going to take Suzerain of Antenna Revo. And that will give me uh, 10 envoys with them. And it should give me... Uh, big boost in our culture and we've entered the renaissance era and we did get a normal age 
bonus. And we got mercenaries. Perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in professional army. And I want to leave everything else here. Uh, and I'll replace the settler card later. And the reason why I want professional army is because I want to upgrade these guys to crossbowmen. Uh, I'm just a little bit short to upgrade him, but I'll get him next turn. And I think what I'm going to do is grab monumentality for the, um, cause I am building a lot of, uh, specialty districts. So, okay. We did just finish another settler in the capital. So I think I'm going to send them over to the peninsula and I think I'm going to build this university just to get it online. Uh, I would like the extra science. Uh, speaking of science, what about great people? Looks like we we can faith purchase this great person, but this isn't really a, uh, a guy that I'm really interested in right now. So I'll probably wait until the next one. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this archer to a crossbowman that gave me the uni uh, Eureka for metal casting. All right, looks like we got mass production. That'll be beautiful for our harbors. Uh, I should have boosted it. It would have been simple. Just a lumber mill. Uh, totally forgot, got away from me. I think I'm gonna get banking finally. Um, that way we can get our gilded vaults online. And what I'll do is I'll just come up here and promote the owl so I don't forget. And we're gonna settle this city right here. And we got the city of Los Angeles. And I'm gonna use um, Hercules to clear out these barbs here. And as far as this builder goes, I think I'm just going to chop out these woods. And maybe what I'll do is I'll chop out uh, a harbor. And that way we can get this city uh, up and going a little bit quicker. All that is not and we got medieval fairs. As far as our government goes, I think we can plug out professional army. I'm going to upgrade this archer before we do. I would like to upgrade one more. Actually, I can. Perfect. Done. And I think we're going to plug out professional army and maybe plug in Dina quarter, maybe colonization. No, we're not building settlers right now. So what it will do is we'll plug in merchant confederation confederation for the extra gold. And so we're making 51 gold per turn. And now we're making 84 gold per turn. Perfect. And we finished the university in Washington. Uh, I probably could have left that settler card in because I could be building settlers in right now. But I think what I'm going to do is grab a builder. A couple of builders uh, is never a bad idea. I would like to grab the water mill. And uh, we'll start pumping out some more settlers here pretty soon. Okay, we are going to chop for the harbor. That just knocked off 18 turns. It looks like the Maori will want to trade one of their great works for five gold per turn, some Diplo favor and some open borders. So I'm going to take that deal. Uh, I do want as many great works as I can get. I saw a bank All right, we just got banking. Uh, I think we're going to grab astronomy next would be nice. Would have been nice to build a university by a mountain, but uh, I don't even think we have a campus by a mountain yet. Uh, all right, we got our builder in the city of Cincinnati. I think I'm going to use it to uh, make the city a little bit better. I think I'm going to start with this hill here. As far as production, I would like to get the lighthouse online. Okay, we finished our first builder in Washington. I think I'm going to put a mine here. And I'm going to chop out some more for the harbor. That just knocked off 20 turns. All right, I'm going to chop out this rainforest that will get us a little bit closer to our lighthouse. We are having a bit of a housing issue in here. It would be nice to place an aqueduct right here. And we're going to place our second city on the peninsula. We got the city of Detroit. Beautiful. And we're going to harvest out this stone for a harbor that we're going to put right there. And it looks like we got another... Um, Governor title. I'm not 100% sure who I want to grab here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to leave this alone. Okay, we just finished our first industrial zone in the city of Philadelphia. Perfect. I think I'm going to build a university. And it looks like our religion got pushed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the city right away to our own home religion. Uh, looks like they've pushed into Washington as well. So I got to fix this problem. Looks like I've almost lost my religion in my um, empire. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a couple inquisitors here 
and I'm going to, I'm going to get this religion, uh, out of my territory as quick as I can because uh, it's affecting my production. Okay, we're gonna harvest out these bananas. All right, we're gonna harvest out this stone and that'll get us a little bit closer to getting our harbor. And I think I'm gonna buy an apostle in Philadelphia as well to fight these other apostles. All right, and we're gonna harvest out this rainforest that will finish the um, harbor, will give us the Eureka for cartography. And I think we're gonna grab the lighthouse next. We almost have enough cash to buy it, but I think we're just going to hard build it because we're going to need our cash for other things. We shall not cease from exploring. All right. Uh, we're going to grab Merchant Republic. That just gave us three extra era score and we're going to keep serfdom. We're going to keep natural philosophy. Scripture is very important. Uh, we don't need professional army anymore. We do want conscription to save us some gold. It would be nice to have veterancy because we are building a lighthouse and as well colonization for building settlers because I do plan to build some more settlers. And I think we're just gonna leave that the way it is. And we got the boost for castles, perfect. Looks like we lost our religion in the city of New Orleans, which is a little bit of a problem. Okay, now that we have uh, Merchant Republic, I think we're going to go and grab Diplomatic Service to get the Chancery and be able to put in resident embassies and everybody's governments. <clears throat> and in the capital, instead of building a watermill, I think I'm going to go right into building settlers again. I'm going to send this builder down to New Orleans to get this uh, these tiles looking pretty good. And we're going to chop out the rainforest and that'll get us a little bit closer to getting our harbor. All right, now that we have everything chopped out, I think we're just going to start placing mines wherever we can. I might buy, build the mausoleum here and then maybe a commercial hub here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll build mines right here, here, and here. All right, we just cleared up that barb camp. Perfect. But hopefully we can kill this crossbowman next turn. And we got our religion back in our capital. Perfect. Almost got that guy killed. Looks like our commercial hub got pillaged by a flood. So I'm going to repair the commercial hub before I do anything else. Our friendship ran out with Norway. So I'm going to declare friendship. Perfect. I'm going to see if he will trade me anything. Oh, it looks like our open borders ran out as well. So I'm going to get open borders. And he'll give us two gold per turn for open borders. Looks like uh, Ethiopia is absolutely broke. So I'll see. He's, he won't give me anything for open borders, but I'll take open borders anyway. And I think I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next time.